Welcome to video number two of Let's Make a Game. Uh, I promised you last time that we would uh, learn what Twine is and what sort of format games it makes. So let's do that. Um, first thing I'm going to tell you is that Twine, which as I said last video, is a free uh, program. You can find it at twinery.org, that's T-W-I-N-E-R-Y dot org, and when you go there you'll see what you're seeing on the screen now, which is a little explanation of what Twine is, and if you scroll down these are examples of uh, games that people have made with Twine. Now, the explanation here, Twine is an open source tool, well that's fairly straightforward, for telling interactive non-linear stories. That's a little bit jargony if you didn't know what it was, but it's easily demonstrated. So what I've done is I've got one of the games that was made with Twine. This, this isn't one that I've made, it's just one that happened to be on the website in the other tab. And I'm going to play through a few screens of it, not, not the entire game, but just um, enough to give you the idea. Um, if you've ever read a Choose Your Own Adventure book, um, older people will know about those. They were ubiquitous in schools at a particular time. Um, you'll you'll recognise the format. It's basically that as a computer game. It gives you a story. In this case, it says uh, Knights in Boulder is an interactive story game set in the years of 2010 and 2016. You're Matthew, desperately searching for your missing girlfriend after she never returned home from a night out with friends. Um... So we choose play, and start, gives us a warning, that's not normal, of course, most of these games are pretty pretty G-rated, but, um, so the usual format is that it tells you, it tells you what's happening uh, in the second person, that is, instead of saying, John walked down the hall, or uh, you, it says you walk down the hall. It's, it's the the text is given to you as if you were the were the character, the main character of the story. So it gives you some text. In this case, uh, your girlfriend's gone out with some friends and she hasn't come back. And then it gives you a couple of options. In this case, you can call her again or go to bed. So let's choose go to bed. You do that by clicking on the option and then it tells you what happens as a result of that and gives you more um, more options. In this case we choose to call her friend and then we have options for what we can say and, then, and so on. Um, There we go. So that's pretty. It's it's pretty straightforward. Um, as I say, if you've ever read a choose your own adventure book or a, a fighting fantasy game book or one of those, um, if you're sort of more my age, you you you'll know what those are. Um, there are also um, quite a few games of this type that are sold um, as apps for usually sold for phone or for iPad rather than being sold for to be played on the PC. Um, but anyway, that's what we're going to make. Now, back to uh, the Twine uh, web page. As you can see, it gives you the option to download it or to use in the browser, and it'll just save what you've done for next time you come back. And that's what I'm going to do. There's not a um, huge amount of difference between using it in the browser and using it on the desktop, it looks the same. You can certainly follow along if you want to download Twine. Um, you can certainly, you won't have any problems following along with what I'm doing. Um, nor is there any huge difference between uh, PC and Macs or Apples. Um, there's a slight visual difference in the way it displays, but it's it's basically the same. And as I say, you won't have any problems. So let's click. Using your browser, I oh, you know it's working. And there's a little tutorial which I'm going to skip. And this is what you will get if you 
uh, using it on the website, um, it's telling me that I have nothing. I have nothing saved, um, which makes sense, of course. So this is a sort of new account. So I'm going to make a new story, and we're going to call it the bridge. And you'll see why we're going to call it the bridge in a second. Now, and this is what we get. Um, the pages are displayed to us as square boxes, I suppose you'd call them. Um, the little green icon, it's actually a spaceship if you can't see it on the video. That's telling me that this is the starting um, the starting page. So when someone plays this game, when it's finished and published, um, this is the one that they'll start with. So I'm going to click in there, and that's how I um, that's how you edit the, the pages, and it brings up a larger window. Now, I'm going to rename these. This isn't particularly oops, it is. I'm going to rename this by clicking rename. This isn't particularly uh, necessary because when a person is playing it, they won't see these titles. These titles are just for you the you the creator or for me to have a look at and, and keep track of where I am but uh, I am going to do it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a game that's so simple that it's barely a game and you might wonder why I would even bother making something this simple but I'll explain why I've done it this way once I have done it so let's say to start you must cross the river. That's the text that the player is going to get. And now I want to give them a couple of options. And so what I'm going to do is put double square brackets. And I'm going to say um, the first choice will be wade across the river. And the second choice will be Cross over the bridge and because it's in uh, a pair of double square brackets the program knows that that means it's a it's a choice and so what it will do is it will and if I X out of that we can see what it's done it's created two new two new pages and there are arrows going from the start to the to the two new pages and that of course tells you that um, you can get from the start to those two new pages. Uh, you can move them around the screen, that doesn't make any difference to how it will play, that's just for um, when you start getting lots and lots of pages it's you're probably going to want to sort of rearrange them and set them out in particular ways to keep track of them but obviously in a very simple game like this we're not going to need to. So if we were to play this now, can we, if we were to play this now, we go back, we can end it there and we can see that there's a new story. I can click on it once and Where is it? Ah, here we go. I can choose to play it, um, and that'll show you what it'll look like from a player's point of view. So we get a black um, a black screen, that's just the default, and it says you must cross the river, and you have a choice to click wade across the river or cross over the bridge, and of course we get nothing <laughs> if I click on those because I haven't put anything in there yet. But that shows us that it's um, it's saved it and that it's sort of working as we expect it to work. Um, we can also see that the name of the tab is the bridge, which is the name of the um, the name of the story. So let's put some text in those two choices. Cross over the bridge. You have crossed the river. You win. And if we wait across the river, the river carries you away, you lose. 
and then we can go back. There's no there's no save or um, save as or anything command. It just does all that automatically. So we just if we go back, we can choose that one and build and play. And again, we get the black screen. You must cross the river. Wait across the river. The river carries you away. You lose. That's no good. Let's play again. You must cross the river. Cross over the bridge. You have crossed the river. You win. Hooray. Um, and there you have it, a complete game. Now, obviously, that's not a very good game. Um, it's barely a game at all. Why would you bother creating a game like that? Well, it's because what I want, what a lot of people do when they're trying to make a game is they start to make a game and they say, all right, to make a game, I need uh, a system for creating a character and then I need a system for combat and I need a system for movement and oh, this is too hard, I'm going to stop. And so they end up with, perhaps they finish the character creation and perhaps they sort of do part of the um, the movement. And so they have 10% of a game. And what I would rather do, it's not very inspiring to have 10% of a game. No one's interested in seeing your 10% of a game and you probably aren't very interested in having, you know, looking at 10% of the game and it's probably kind of depressing because you haven't, you really think about the 90% of the game that you didn't finish, I suppose. So what I want to do is the opposite of opposite of that. I want to set out to make, I want to start by making a really tiny game and then I over the course of this uh, series, I will be adding more and more to this game. And at every point, the game will be finished. And that means it might be very small and very dumb, but it'll be finished, it'll be complete. And a small game is better than, a small game that is finished is better than a big game that isn't finished. It's better for me, the creator, and it's probably more interesting for you, the audience. Um, I'm not going to do it with this first version, but as we go on, once it gets sort of slightly substantial, I'll upload the game, uh, you know, as it is so far, to a website where anyone can download it. So if you're interested in following along with this series, you can you can download the game, and and if I talk about uh, you know how the character creation works or something when I put that in, you'll be able to download it and and play around with it and see see what I've done, and you can also look at the um, I suppose you'd call it the source code, although it's just text. You'll be able to look at the text and 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 see exactly what I've done, um, which will be more relevant when we get into more complicated programmy. Um, types of things. I mean, what I've done here today is just, t you know, plain text and, uh, I suppose, links. But there, there'll be more, um, there'll be more sort of complex elements to come. Um, but anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've shown you the, the website to go to if you wanted to start your own account. Um, you can't look at my stories. You can only sort of look at your own and you can only look at you can look at stories that have been uh, made public, and I haven't yet made this public. But I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it public, as I say, once it gets to a certain point. Um, but I've also shown you how uh, what the what the interface looks like, and how you click on a particular story in order to add text and add links, and actually. That is really all you need. I mean, if you wanted to make a choose your own adventure that had no randomness and no sort of um, no extra programming, you could make a very interesting and, and complicated story just using what I've shown you. This is the really good thing about Twine. You don't what the 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 minimum that you need in order to make something good is actually really really small. It is actually just what I've shown you. It's text and links. Um, I want more than that and I'm going to show you more than that but it's perfectly legitimate to make a, you know a very big and very interesting um, playable story that people will be uh, you know wanting to look at with nothing else 
Um, and the other stuff is is just sort of is just sort of gravy on top of that. But um, anyway, we will next time. Um, I'm going to get into creating a character so that you can have a character with with um, different scores such as they might have a, a strength that is high or a high number or a low number or an intelligence that's a high number or a low number. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that and how to make use of that in a story if you want to and how that can make a story more interesting and how it can make it uh, something that people will want to, will want to play more often. Um, but we'll talk about that in video number three, and I hope that I will see you then.